Why, hello. How's our Poké loyalty doing? We are 49 loyal. Huzzah! Man, my keyboard des decided it wanted to die. So now I've got this loud keyboard. <laughs> it's not too bad. We shall see. Hey, how's it going? How is everybody? So we had some fun so far. Dragon dropping. More dragon than dropping lately. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to focus a little bit on, well, first, some layout. You know, just some, not even layout. I guess I should say, uh, oops. Forgot to do that. There we go. Um, yeah, first going to be cleaning up this component so that I have things just kind of uh, stashed in a way that makes a little bit more sense. Actually, I need a new folder for connectivity. So like card and control area those need to go in drag and drop move chat and my form need to go into twitch chat connection manager and connection state need to go into the connectivity constants can go in bars and I'm just gonna leave that there at some point I'm probably gonna make a, a folder just for web elements but I mean they're all kind of web elements but whatever uh, let's add everything again Do a little bit of cleaning up and we want to do in here we need to fix these so like connection components connection now is I should probably just name that connection state instead of connectivity <laughs> Uh, chat messages is going to be Twitch chat. Card. Now, oh, this is kind of an interesting connection state, needs to just become its own component rather than being being imported twice, but for now, I don't even know why I still have it. It's just kind of an interesting thing to me, but, uh, all right. And you are now drag and drop. Boopalant. We be catching. And we'd be checking. Oh, I guess I didn't catch it. All right. Uh, components menu bar is fine. Components. This is going to get changed, but. All right. We have any new errors? Source components 
drag and drop card.js oh can't resolve because that's in vars so i need to go in here and you are in Can't resolve socket in components. Let's go sockets right here. So in connection state, it's not here. That is less than ideal socket. Does socket get called by anything else? Like, am I calling socket here? I am. What did I have socket doing? Import IO. That's it. So that's a bars. You're going to go in bars. Moving. All right, so here where I'm looking for socket is from. All right, and here instead is just going to be bars. All right, what do we got now? Did I socket from, oh yeah, dot slash details. Okay. And in Twitch chat here, dot dot slash. And we're back. All right. Problem solved. I feel like I needed, <laughs> I definitely need, I need like a bar that shows me that yes, my audio is in fact on. Actually, I see my camera, kind of curious if I do. Since now I only mute it on my headphone or on my headset. But can I see it if I'm sideways? Yeah, barely. Can you guys see it? Let's see. Yeah, okay. It's pretty obvious on there. Anywho. All right, so my, my plan at this point, uh, since I've spent the last few days screwing around with dragging and dropping, we're gonna get add or clean up let's push the feature just to make sure everything is on the up and up or <laughs> on the get however you want to look at it right uh, so yeah, we pushed everything up. None of this is getting used. That's fine because we're not technically using it yet. I'm not going to mess with drag and drop. I'm going to make a new component today. And I think this is going to be Twitch. I mean, I want to do Twitch followers but maybe chatters let's do yeah let's do followers because i'm gonna need a list of all of the followers and then mm, no because there's people that chat that don't follow so let's just do 
Twitch chatters. I don't really want that. So I was watching a, I was watching another streamer, uh, Setelux, and he had a situation where a ton of bots decided, or a bot decided to just start mass subscribing. I'm like, I know right now, you know, I've got 42 followers, but I would say at least 15 of those are probably bots or they're people that they follow just so that they can send me a whisper or something like that. And I want to get rid of those. I really do. So I'd rather keep track of, okay, what did this person who followed actually do? Is this person who immediately chatted or was there, had they only ever sent one message in chat? Is that one message just, Hey, check out my artwork. And would you like to create a new, I have an idea for your channel Good sort of stuff. So I want to keep track of that, but I also want to have a list of followers in case like what happened to Settelix, he had around a thousand followers just start spamming. Um, and he had to remove all of those followers and he had a script where he could just select the last, I think it was 1500 followers and <laughs> remove them as followers so having that sort of thing available in the ui i honestly that was a big reason why i decided that i needed a back-end ui was because of that moment when i was watching him so all of that is a long story or the what what's the another thing i heard recently the hardest part of programming is naming things. So what am I going to name this? This is going to be a list of, maybe I'll just do uh, Twitch participants. Because that way I can have, I can have the ID of the person who chatted I can have whether or not they're a follower and then number of messages. That way I can see like, okay, I've got how many people have one message and only one message or even zero messages and only a whisper or something like that. All right. So new file, this is going to be And this, this is going to specifically look at Twitch and not YouTube when I start adding to that. Uh, so Twitch. Actually, let's see. So in chat, I just named it chat messages. That doesn't really work. That's, so that's a card and that's the area the cards can be in. So for participants, I'm going to have the list participant list. And then realistically, I'm going to have uh, the participant card, which that's going to be what actually, well, maybe not card, maybe I just, maybe I just do that because that's what's actually going to be exported. This is going to be just a piece of it. So let's look at how chat is laid out. There's also the question of, do I want to do I want to double up the API here? Do I want the, do I want my bot to keep track of this information or do I want to just go straight to Twitch and get it? There is some portion where I want to query the bot, definitely. But I don't know if that's, I mean, I'm, I'm going to get, it's going to be slower that way, right? So 
we'll make that, we'll burn that bridge when we come to it. All right, so in this case, we're exporting messages. And that's the entire thing. because it already returns what I want it to return. But I also need to get the users. And that question is... Instead of views, I need to go here. Like right now, everything gets sent from the bot to the front end, but this isn't something that would be sent. This is something that would be requested. So this would be an API call. And I think that's all gonna have to be in here. I still do need to fix that to do. Status auth is false. And I think if I go back up here in my connection state, This is just pulling this. So my connection state is really only telling me that the socket exists. Cool. All right. So I think, doing a quick search, <laughs> uh, this, okay, let me share. Install Node.js, ensure you have at least a basic understanding of React. Whoops, instructions unclear. So it looks like, just going off the title, this is probably using the fetch API, right? Where's, where's their fetch? I'm just wondering if fetch shows up different. How to use SWR? I don't want to use. Como O. I'd rather not just use another library. I know. I should just get used to using the library. But here we go. This is going to be use state use effect fetch equals photos is use state
Okay. So now in the Twitch API. I think because I've already got the bot utilizing all of my keys, I'm definitely going to have to... I'm going to have to have the bot checking this stuff and then go from there. No one caught it. That's some BS. All right. Let's get the reference up. a list of broadcasters that specified oh, that the user follows okay get a list of users that follow the specified broadcaster that's part of it get a list of users that are connected to the broadcasters chat session So this isn't actually getting chatters. This is just getting people that are connect, or this is just getting connections. User ID, name. So let's see what this looks like. We're going to go over here to app. Not that app. That app. And we're going to add slash API slash I guess chatters. Why not? Just because I'm curious what it's going to look like. So this function assumes, or what it's saying is, it's assuming that I have a function that's get chatters. I don't have a getter yet, so. That's the key. I'm gonna need this guy. And it'll just be a wait fetch. I'm just going to console log it when it gets sent. Oh, send it back yet. So I need the ID. So I need to get my channel, which I think right now I have hard coded. I'm going to have to fix that if I want to actually put this out for other people to use at some point. I don't know if I will, but the default is 100. All right. So It requires a user access token, but it, but 
Let's see, what's this look like? All right, so it's gonna be the same as in here. Where's my tide client? I put you in lib. So it's going to be this same sort of paradigm. So let's copy you. And what we're fetching is going to be different. It's going to be Helix Chat Chatters. Is it listening? Helix chat chatters plus new URL search buttons. But that's not what I'm after. Or that's not what I need there. my URL search params getting defined. Oh, that's just going to be here. Okay. So I'm just adding to these the broadcaster ID and the moderator ID. I'm getting user item from. I know where this is filling in. It's filling in from up there, but I don't think this dot get user ID is going to work. So, uh, yeah. Press pass sequelize. Because this is all app get stuff. So I've got the key. Authorization is not fair, it's a 
it's going to be key.code. In this instance, and client ID is not correct. See, this is why we double check AI always. All right, cool, it filled all this in for me. It's wrong, but it's there. And then I need to get the broadcaster and moderator ID. I think I need to get that from basically here. I just need to change my model. But I also have it here in uh I don't think I have, I'm not calling off, right? No, I'm not. So my best bet is probably just gonna be, maintain, validate, refresh, no. Wait, is bot template even still used? It is not. See, this is some of that cleanup I got to do. Get rid of some of this stuff that I'm not using anymore. I could have swore that I had moved that getter. into auth. So this is where it comes in. Where do I get that username? Oh, you know what I can look at? In commands, I had shout out. Shout out requires no problem there. User chatter username. Okay, somewhere <laughs> the actual shout out has disappeared. What is going on here? This is where I first started screwing around with it. Catching. Cleaning up all my branches, yeah. Too many API calls. I remember that. Let's just go here. That shouldn't be being sent. I'll have to look at that too. All right, so in here, 
What's my commands look like? All right, it's not that one. Because I had shoutouts working. Or at least I thought I did. Man, I'm not catching nothing. Merge branch main into minor fixes. Did I do this backwards? Get ignore, read me. Actually, I'm gonna drag this over here because I don't know for certain. thing added to it. Let me put that back over here. Alright. So it's not that one. that one. Okay, so it's in Twitch chat that I check locally first. That's fine. but it still doesn't fix my shout out problem. Shout out to working. Oh, you know what I should do? I should be looking at the file, right? So this file. Let's look at its history. sure I remember doing that and then shout out okay next one Twitch chat. Okay, it's not that one. Woof, that's a crazy number. Okay. 
updated text. Okay, I remember doing that. Added help. That just checks for the aliases. that I was messing with to try and get to that point. So that's the right area. Add a Discord, opt out. Because I need this set command to work before I can use shout outs. I do this to myself do I have it I must have it in a different so these are my cleanup playing playing blah 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 my list of files here. Oh, okay. This is all the stuff that got added. I'm going to set this. Oops. I'm just going to drag this over here temporarily. Because as we know, I only care about one particular file. Gotta be a way that I can look for just that one file in here because this is the number of changes that are in here that are <laughs> unrelated to anything I care about is too damn high.
looking here. What's going on here? Maybe I overrode it in here somehow. I mean, I shouldn't have touched this at all. Added lurk and shout out. It should be here. Yeah, that was my initial. Lots of new features. The best kind of update. All right, this is this is going to be. <laughs> and so this is where opt out got real big. And shout out does nothing still. I swear I was testing shout out. Basic off check. All right, let's see what this says. Because, yeah, I had to do different send types, which is true. Right there. So that means in here, send shout out. Okay, I did it over here. All right, let's see if that is still true. So if I'm back here, let's go to commands. Res type is shout out. Okay, and then in Twitch chat, that takes care of the rest. All right. Well, that was fun. That was a fun little side side quest. I don't know. But I do think I don't know why. Oh, why do I have the slash pin there? Whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. I am going to say um, which is red in Twitch chat. I'm going to have to come back to exactly how that's working, but I do need to take a quick break. Burb.
you know, there's a joke in the uh, Pokemon community game where Tentacool is the most common of rewards. But I think this is the first one I've seen. It is, in fact, the first one I've seen. That's weird. All right, where were we? I think I need to probably... That's not a now thing, but it is something that needs to be addressed. <laughs> okay. So going back to this, the get user ID, I think thought was in auth but no it is in chat but get user ID should only be called if if Oh, hey, look, send shout out. I definitely was testing it. Get send. Oh, okay, because now I'm understanding a little bit more. So this is just handling the messages and then I can make sure that chat takes care of everything else. I've got a whole lot of debugging stuff in here. <laughs> So this actually, this pulls in Twitch chat and then it's just called message sender dot get user ID. So how do I do the same thing here? I don't want to duplicate it, right? That's the whole point. Don't duplicate this stuff. But I also, like, I don't want to import all of this stuff into there. So what do I do? It starts getting circular at this point. <laughs> because I'm writing something on the server side that's going to use something I wrote to get stuff from the API. So what do I have for get chat? Oh, it's just pulling. And it's just sending this. is all just updating but it doesn't have an include it's just using sockets I think I'm getting into spaghetti code territory needs some nice marinara API should be I 
this dot user item from I really don't want to rewrite get user ID. Do I need to do I need to separate this out for getters? Just Twitch getters. I think that's exactly what I need to do. If you noticed, I'm not, I'm not actually like nothing in here requires authorization. I think. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, but I passed that auth item. So let's try copying you out. I'm gonna need, I think, all of this. Okay, I need to sequelize. Wait, do I need to sequelize? Hang on, why is that a problem? Oh, because that's a class. sequelize yes I do use sequelize because I first checked to see if I've already got it I forgot to get more water that's all right I've still got a little just magically work, right? Except that it needs this auth item. And the only way to get this auth item is from here. And the only reason it has it is because this calls. Or do you? Oh, actually, this is only for the initial setup and such. It's all saved, so getting the auth item so we've got chat message Token here. Oh, because again, it's there. Okay, so auth is getting called here. No, I'm just reading it. I'm just creating the auth item. So let's look for. Isn't it 
kit user. Kit user. Send shout out. This dot client ID. This is getting auth item, so that's already got the auth item. These are assuming that they're sent. So it has to be here. Commands logger path. server oh it, gives, it does give me the bot username useful stuff uh, and the twitch channel which I need this stuff started status I got a whole bunch of extra stuff in here at the moment okay and then I just have get auth That's what happens when it starts. So really, that's what I need. Do I do it as a constructor? Because that's part of what happens here. It just says... This does all of this stuff. This does the maintenance to make sure that it goes and gets an authorization otherwise. I think this function has gotten a little too large. And I don't know that I use this anymore because I have this. I do still use this. too many checks in here <laughs> but that's that's not today's problem so this get user ID requires this auth item this auth item What I want to do is I want to get it from the database, but then I also need to be able to, if it's not in the database, say, uh, you broke something, which the WebSocket command does by default. I guess I can kind of assume that if it's running, then I can get that. Oh, hey, I got the double. Let's see. Let's take a look. Squirrel. Well, not a squirrel. Oh, geez, that's terrible. Trade. What do we get? A dreadnought.
Also not wonderful, but not as bad. Anything interesting? Miss Psychic Type. No, oh, I guess I'm done with the Wonder Trade thing and the attempted catches. Massively increases the sell price. Cool. All right. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. All right. So if I have Twitch Getter here, that means here I'm going to have a new Twitch Getter. That also means I'll have a new Twitch Getter here. It is kind of interesting that I have a git in a sender. Not a great idea. Um, that just means I have to change the... Oh yeah, in here. No, in here it's, it's still doing that. Okay. So let's consider that. Um, we want we can do that, and then we want. And in theory, like here, let's no, it should be here. This this dot get user ID instead is. that should be pulling the same code. So in theory, nothing is broken, but something is broken. <laughs> Twitch getter is not a constructor. What? Twitch getter. I see a constructor. So here, okay. Which class is Twitch Getter? Am I missing something? Oh, yes, I am. Oops. So yeah, in theory, that is pulling the exact same code and should be just fine. Of course, I'm not sending any shout outs, so maybe we try it here. Seems fine. Kind of web socket dice argument undefined raw. Oh, yeah, because there is no argument. So, yeah, in theory, that should be fine. And that means that if I need to use the get user ID, I can just import that bit. Let's make sure there's nowhere else that is popping up, like here. TG, TG. And 
then I should be able to get rid of this. Message send get user ID is not a function. Uh, that makes sense. Let's in WebSocket. Message send. This is in WebSocket. We can just go to line 252. Two five D two. Okay. We just need to do the same thing. Dice still work. Dice still works. Did I break top? Top is still tops. Get it? All right. So now we've got getters separated out. Nice. So back over here, I can just include getters. these separated out for a reason. My app use and app sets and then my app gets and we just need then I can scroll down here and to get chatters I need my TG and TG and instead of key you become auth item and we'll just do a console.log response. All right, let's see what we got. Status is fine. And now chatters. ID to string. What? Okay, no, that's that's weird. I get you. I don't think I need that.
Oh, that's all of this stuff too. Yeah, I definitely don't need any of that. So if I'm doing a fetch, let me hop over to chat. No, uh, WebSocket. Actually, no, Getters. This has it right here. And I should actually separate this out so that I'm getting chats from here, which I probably will. So here the users, new login ID. I have client ID. Why does this work? Oh, right here, because it comes in. So in this case, I need the ID. Let's just, for the sake of argument, Okay. So in the app here, instead of ID, I need not defined that is true because it is that now that's also true <laughs> you saw the name hey reference error user item is not defined Oh, well, that's, that's true. Broadcaster ID, in this case, is going to be, yeah, Twitch channel. Loudred, I like Loudred. This will be this guy. Once again, for the 50th time. Cannot read properties of undefined reading ID. Where? Some string for user data, data zero ID. What you mean? So I get authorization and client. This is supposed to be lowercase. Ah, oh, no loudred. So that plays into it. But why can I not read properties of undefined reading ID? Am I not sending enough information to this? ID, auth item, options. I have ID and then auth item. Let me 
drag this over here real quick because I'm going to be looking at my END file. So broadcaster moderator authorization and client. Oh, this should say bear according to the client ID, the channel, and the username. And then it crashes. Undefined reading ID. At Twitch getter user ID. debug log trash crashing it It's an undefined. Why is it get? Where is it getting this undefined? I mean, the only place it could be getting it is somewhere in this API request. TG get user get user. But each time. Twitch channel not hang on. No, that's definitely set. That is a thing. So what your problem is? Say 
this one, not this one, and then it crashes. Cannot write, read. Okay, so it says it's coming from this one. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's just an example of it. Okay. I was like, oh, that'd be awesome if I could just highlight that and that does it. So I definitely have bot username. It's just again check the environment oh lordy i don't have bot username that's stupid that's on me of course it's on me who else is it going to be on Same here. All right. There we go. Let's make sure that nothing hinky is hidden in here. All right, just sent me an unauthorized. Cool, so that means I don't have it in my requests. Or I don't have, I haven't requested that authorization yet. So what do I need? I need moderator read chatters. So I need to go into, oh, you know what? I think I have this in my environment file as well. Yep. So of course I do, right? is going to happen, I'm going to have to delete my code and create a new one. But for the sake of argument, let's see. Oops, that's not what I want. That's what I want. Yeah, still unauthorized. All right, cool. Well, not cool, but cool. Drag you over here so that we can delete the key. Just delete. What the heck? I can set to null. Oh, delete the current record. There we go. So we delete, write the changes, and then we need to stop you, start you, and then I'm going to need a 
new one of these. So now I've created a new one, a new issue where I need to authorize on the admin portal, but I can't because it's going to crash because of here. Well, actually, it shouldn't be calling that. There we go. It was, you know, it probably is. It's probably the other window refreshing. This one. Gotta go. Yeah, that's my guess. Invalid scope requested moderator reader chatter. Wait, I copied and pasted that. How can that be invalid? Yeah, whispers channel users user. Moderator manage shoutouts. Moderator read chatter. Moderator read chatter S. Apparently I didn't grab the S. All right. Once again for the third time. This isn't it. Authenticate. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not going to make a change. Or it's not going to reload until I change something else. It's a bit like the Matrix that way. There we go. So I'm just going to log in real quick. Get my authenticator code out. Hope I picked the right one. I didn't. Gotcha that time. And I still have that issue where technically I need, make sure I don't have my environment file open. Or I technically need to stop it and restart it. All right, so now Oh, I missed Pokemon. I got so focused. How am I still unauthorized? It is interesting. Normally that is not an error from CloudFront. Should I do a 
search params, login ID. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. I've got this backwards. So I need to go back over here. And it's got the broadcaster and moderator ID. Instead of login, I think. Yeah, so I just send those two header items. I just need those to be the parameters. So instead of that, I need uh, I need these two. We can get rid of you. Locked false state readable. You're still saying unauthorized. Why? What am I missing here? In... Oh, okay. That's why. <laughs> because you're doing it wrong. still need to close you. What? Oh. Probably that's oh, that was just a reload. That's funny. Why am I still getting unauthorized? Like, I understand it's going to be an empty response. Oh, you know what? I don't think I need the number, huh? Like, does it matter if it's the number? Oh, yep, it does matter if it's the number.
Let me take a look here. So, boom, boom, comma, okay. And then two string. Access auth item before initialization. Oh, well, yeah, that would be true, wouldn't it? just causing problems. Okay, so what the heck is this thing's malfunction? Because it, all it cares about, it says, is... Broadcaster ID and moderator ID. Broadcaster ID, moderator ID. Oh wait, no, okay, so it's it's sending the right data. Broadcaster ID, moderator ID, Jesus. Why? How am I still getting unauthorized, though? Response is 401 unauthorized. All right, let's just Broadcaster ID. Let's make sure I didn't just spell something wrong. Moderator ID. are supposed to be sent as headers, right? Where was I? Over here. Header, authorization, error, and then the code, and then the client ID. supposed to be a git. 
authorization, client dash ID. Accept in quotes. Is it possible that that's the problem? so that because that looks stupid It's like, uh, that's not just showing my key, is it? Because that would be... Yeah. Less than ideal. Chatters, broadcaster ID, and moderator ID. That's emotes, that's not what I want. Executor. It's not what I'm looking at. Get chatters. Have I been looking at the wrong one? Chat. Chat. Chatters. Helix chat. Chatters. ID. Moderator ID. Authorization. And client ID. Authorization. Client ID. Authorization. Client ID. See, now, because it works here, so that it doesn't matter. URL search params. Wait, so that has it that way. Hang on, hang on. So if I do it here, I'm doing it differently here, but I'm filling it in that way. need you there anymore. Wait, fetch, shout URL with those. Maybe I build the URL just like I do there. Let's do it. So this is from to and moderator. So I can realistically, let's copy you. Let's go to here. Actually, why did I do that? Why don't I just copy the whole thing? That's not the whole thing.
and we're gonna do here. I do not need the two broadcaster ID. Which means I do not need the from broadcaster ID. That is just broadcaster ID. Change this. I don't think I need to do two string. Let me make sure. Doom, doom, doom. And then, yeah, just a comma. Crashed. User item is not, oh. This is true. This is broadcaster ID is process dot env dot twitch channel name. Just Twitch channel and then Twitch bot username. Four. Oh, that's right, because I didn't change it. Um, dum, dum, dum. I need it to be chat chatters. Let's do this. getting unauthorized. He's not making dissenses. Get chatters. Note there is a delay. Gets the list of users that are connected to the chat session. It's just, I'm going to, for the sake of argument, do yieldy copy pasta. There is no this client ID. It is.
Hey, I got a 200. Okay. Miss from Cloudfront. not what I'm supposed to be getting back, though. Response 200. I'm supposed to be getting a data back. Status, okay. Headers, keep alive. So why am I not actually getting data back? I mean, this seems to say to me that they don't have it cached. say pull through cache. This means that there's initially nothing in the cache. Okay, so it will be done. Do I need to just like re-request it? No, that's exactly the same. Type application JSON connection keep alive. So, why are these all working? This is making me bonkers. So now I'm actually getting a response, but it's not actually sending me anything other than, yeah, you got a response. Do I need to... Determine whether a user blah blah blah. Use the Git moderators. You can check up to 100. Response body should be data. Oh, okay. Do I need to do response dot body?
readable stream. Am I handling this improperly? Why does this seem so hinky? This doesn't seem like... Do I need to do two JSON? In order to access data from a readable stream, you need to call one of the conversion methods. So instead of dot body, you just like that. Why does that seem? Let response equals await. So, okay, I get the promise. But I don't want the promise. The response is a wait. You're asynchronous. Oh, you know what I should do. Do I need to do that? Yeah. Res has already been declared. Will this Await properly. There we go. Jeez. Could that have taken any longer? No, it took about two hours. Caramba. I think we get some more water. Herb. I guess I gotta do this manual like.
and we're back ish kind of maybe definitely pale maybe pale sort of there we go we need to figure out why that is doing what it's doing more things always something to fix right okay so now we're getting chatters um we need to We need to return that, right? That way, when we go here, pal. Uh, what's going on? Localhost API chatters. Why uh, you send no data? I can understand it's it's async, so it's gonna take a sec, but we just have to do it that way. There we go. All right. Cool. So now we are able to use that to forward this information, basically. The backend server is doing most of the heavy lifting, and on the other end, the client just accepts it. I am probably going to need to make it so that the server will only talk to the client. That's uh, that's a future. Okay, so let's make sure that we save this. Created. Getters and and API slash chatters. I'm going to need to start versioning this, aren't I? Uh, an API slash chatters. Endpoint. Cool. So that tells us there's three. Now, the next thing we want to do, because I need more than just the chatters, right? Because if you follow and then run away. Uh, can I get followers as well? Nope. Oops. Get channel followers. You can also use this endpoint to see whether a specific user follows the broadcaster. Okay. 
Uh, I need to make a new one of these. I feel like you should be able to just say, you know what? I want this bot to be able to do moderator and read. That's it. Because now I have to... Where's my refresh? Recola. There we go. We need to delete. Current record. Write changes. Make sure my environment file is closed. Yes, it is. All right. I should just make an env2 that's just for that stuff, but that's, again, not today. <laughs> All right, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. We need to do, not you, you. I mean, we may as well get all of the debug messages. We have them there for a reason. And then I need incognito. We authenticate. Drag this over here. We do the phone code. And authorize. We kill it, we start it. Interesting, it's still only subscribing to these things. But I know when it sends it, it sends it to everything else. Ooh, I don't want I don't want to go to that level, whatever. Well, what do I have? So I have Dev, I should be in debug. Go away. That's all I want right now. All right, so let's go back here. I'm basically just going to copy this. And for followers, I need basically the same stuff. Oh, and just the broadcaster ID. Cool. So I don't need a moderator. In this case, it's not going to be chatters, it's going to be followers. Missing required. What?
All right. Wait. Right. <laughs> yeah, I need to change the endpoint, don't I? Channels followers is what I need. And now it doesn't need this. There we go. What is the cursor bit? Pagination contains the information used to page through the list of results. The object is empty if there are no more pages left to page through. Use the cursor to set the requests after query parameter. The maximum number of items to return per page. The minimum is one and the maximum is 100. The default is 20. Okay, so in here, instead, what I need to do is So this has the total. Let's try it again. Oops. Okay. Body is unusable. Well, that's new. is unusable. What are you talking about? Okay. So total...
right? Why does that suddenly break it? When it didn't before. I mean, realistically, if I do one await, I shouldn't have to await twice. Right? No, because it only sent the promise. That's, that's weird. I mean, I kind of understand in that if I do it here, then I'm just calling this again. And then I do it here, so I'm calling it again. the main followed. So how do I just get the next... <laughs> Well, I'm going to have to break this up anyway, because the response is this, but if there's, if this exists, Keep an eye on the Pokemon. Whoops. All right. So I think what I need to do is response, not response. Um, And then if I do data, I can also do, oops, that. Why am I back to chatters? API followers. All right, now I get both of them. <laughs> um, so in data, I do data dot pagination. Okay. Dot cursor. Okay. So this is 
API URL and then let response equal this. And what I want is if I need to do this after the fact. If data dot pagination dot cursor then I need for uh, equals Can I just do plus equals? I've honestly never dealt with this. So this is going to be interesting. Basically, all of that. And close it. Why does this seem wrong? Response equals 08. API URL plus oh because I need to encapsulate that one's there Okay, that's why. I mean, this is only going to get the second page, though. And this actually needs to, instead of response, needs to be... data and it's going to have to here I don't know if that's going to do what I want it to but let's see nope <laughs> I had a feeling I guess I could do that. Because uh, I can't add it directly. everything here after I turn it into JSON.
I'm just kind of curious, honestly. 138, yeah, I didn't think so. But curiosity, right? There's actually, there's gotta be something in fetch. This is the await side of things. If I instead do the then. I think that's what I need to do. We're gonna get rid of all of that. So we're fetching API URL, doing the stuff, then I do a, then, I don't want to do something with the data, I just want to check the data. So I'm getting the response. So then response first, I guess we make sure if it's okay, just so that we don't crash ourselves, go away. Or do I just do it here? I mean, this seems to me like a, a perfect spot for a while loop, but... Man, I just keep missing Pokemon. <laughs> So I've got to go out and get data before I can even find out if there's more data to get. If there is more data, I need to grab the next one. Which to me says I need to, I need to have already broken this out into Twitch getters, right? Like here, okay, I'm getting Twitch chatters and that's kind of straightforward. It should also be probably in Twitch getters, but that's all right. Burn that bridge when we come to it. But I think here I need a function that just does this and returns the response. 
And then I can say in here, if the data that it returns includes that, do it again. I mean, in theory, I can just do the while loop here as well. So it fetches, then if it's no response, then okay, it's bad. We return the response.json. JSON. I hate when I get wrapped up like this. Get all wrapped around. What was the thing I was looking at? Did I close it? I must have closed it. is the parsed JSON returns a promise. Try res.json, then body. Try to chain the then calls. <laughs> uh, I mean, basically, I'm just checking to see if if my cursor. Hang on. Okay. One second. So we fetch it, and we just want to loop back over and fetch again. I wonder if there is... I feel like this is something I should be able to do fairly easily. Jason. And then here we say I mean, this is kind of the roundabout way of doing this. Yeah. 
No, it's not even the roundabout way, it's just the long way. So I need while data dot pagination dot cursor is not equal null. basically just need to do the fetch again. But the problem is <laughs> All right, so now I'm duplicating. I literally just copied it right onto it. All right, here to everything in between. What are we missing? Missing in template expression. It's there. What? This is definitely not the right way to be doing it, but I'm just hoping at this point to get it running. <laughs> And then I can go back and clean it up. So here I'm fetching it and I create the data packet. What I care about is if response includes this and go and get the next chunk, right? And maybe since I'm doing it this way, I do. Ooh. channel equals this just so I only do that once and now you are Why did you put the K back in there? That's so dumb. <laughs> okay. Now I can just do the same thing here. And we fetch it again. OK, 
Okay, so we're making sure it's okay. Then we're doing the thing with response. In this case, we're, we already got data. So this makes response.json data. This is that let's see if I just put this in a permanent loop Cannot access auth item. I did that already. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm guessing that we're in a permanent loop now. Memory is slowly climbing. Okay, so that doesn't do what I want it to do. Cool. Alright, let's just do that. Okay. So now, uh, where do we go? There we go. Now we're sending the data. So, can't do anything after we send so if you know what this would just be so much easier No, because this is what... Sorry, I'm interrupting myself. I'm thinking to myself this would be a lot easier if I had it set up as a separate function. Because then it is just returning data. But in this case, it is returning data. So I'm kind of still in the chicken and egg. I need to encapsulate this entire thing in a while, I think. So what I'm going to need is... Um,
I need while end of data do this First, though, I need if data dot pagination dot cursor equals null, end of data equals true. Although I think I need that at the end. data equals then with data we say well we can't do data so we have to do can't do res we have to do Actually, res part. That works. And when I look at this, this is an object. So I need let data equal boom. Then I uh, say data plus equals res part. If data dot pagination equals no. All right. Now for each one of these, I'm going to just for now log data. And then Outside of this while, then we res send data. Cannot read properties of undefined. Okay. <laughs> New problem. Um, All right, so we set data, data is empty, right? We get this should all be should be doing this back to this way all right so since we're doing it this way we're gonna say uh, we're gonna say that await and then we're gonna get rid of all of this And what I'm going to say is data plus equals await response JSON. So if
Maybe I just need to do this. Does pagination go away? Data is not defined. Oh. No, wait, that should be, that's true. I mean, that's false. <laughs> I, I guess I could do it the other way around. So it gets two sets of objects. If there's 20 each, I'm at 42. That seems like it should be getting to the third set of objects. I mean, that's going to come back as a promise over and over again. Yeah, object, 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 promise. now then that's not going to work there's probably something I can be doing better here with it just being an object job. Although good now. Data has oh because I have a let. Get rid of that let. What do we got now? Data cat. Okay. We're going to say let data I think 
can do, still do a plus equals. It looked like I got a bit loopy when I did this. And that is because I'm not adding. Oh, end of data, let API URL. So I need if data dot oh wait I should be doing that down there no no no, no. data dot pagination dot cursor because yeah which I should be able to do it here Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I got all the way back. That gave me one cursor. That gave me the same cursor. OSJ9FQ. Nope, okay, that's the next cursor. Okay, so pagination actually is the issue. How is data not defined if, oh, because it gets, all right, so I need to do this, but I need this like so. but it's only grabbing the last one. So I need a temp data? Dang it, I missed a hop -ip. Bit of cleaning up. I think I need to change this to a trace. <laughs> um, all right, so the data becomes object assign. I 
I think I need this to just be data. Or I need an interim. If data dot pagination. Oh, okay, because I need new data here. a lot more users. It didn't immediately crash. Nineteen eighteen. Okay, but it adds them poorly. <laughs> We'll just say. Because it creates, basically it creates a new object with each one. Okay. Assign data
so it creates an object that has that in that case. And when I look here, it basically adds user ID, user login, username, followed at one. But then it starts over on the next one. Well, I don't really need to do it that way because I've got this. So that's the most recent. And then it goes back about 20. Yep. And then it starts over and it grabs about the last 20. about 20 but wait a minute two so it skips the one that doesn't have it So this shouldn't happen until after it's already been added, but why? Well, let's just get rid of the slash data. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe it'll more closely line up. I don't think it will. Oh, you know what? What if I do that? Uh, dot data zero. It only grabs the zero with entry on each one. <laughs> Not what I'm after. That's not going to work because there's nothing in there. I mean, this is how I want it to look. Hey, check it out. I should have been paying attention to that. A Krabby. All right. So this does the thing, updates it. And the issue is that it gets sent and I can't do wait why does it let me do plus equals now Not assigned to read only property zero of object. Hmm. 
Hey, I caught a Krabby. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> object, object, object. <laughs> object, object, object. See, data, data is an array. So if I do data dot data dot cat new data dot data. Like, is that going to do what I want it to do? Merge to arrays of objects, JavaScript. to merge two arrays a prototype push apply all right let's try that We want array dot prototype dot push dot apply. Let's put you away. Let's put you away. Can't be reached. Cannot convert undefined or null to object. Ready? That's looking likely. It's adding numbers to the users. Sending everything, I don't think. It did add the length. It gets rid of pagination. Send normally. 
Now I'm curious what that looks like again. Okay, it just sends data, whereas here I'm getting something else. I'm not a huge fan of that. I'd rather just have it, I get it to be in the same format. Oh, look at the time. Well, I think this is where I'm calling it for now. If you're watching on uh, YouTube or if you're hanging out, thank you for spending some of your time with me. And uh, thanks for making it all the way to the end if you did that. I'm going to revisit this. Uh, once again, It's it always comes down to raising objects, right? <laughs> uh, let's switch over. And I'm going to say... I do hope everybody has a good day, good weekend. Uh, I won't be back until next Tuesday. Like I said, short week. Have fun, everyone. I know I will. <laughs>